Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's Victor Clutches. These are important throws and I'm going to cover setups, properties and OK. So Dragunov has two variations, Victor Clutch 1 which is F1 plus 4 and Victor Clutch 2 which is F2 plus 3. Now since these are command throws, they have specific breaks and seeing as we also have Blizzard Rush which is a 1 plus 2 break, it means that Dragunov has a complete throw mix up. Now both clutches plant them on the floor, so they give you some OK. For clutch 1, the best follow up is D2. This is all options on the ground and for standards, it hits them in the back. Unfortunately, back rolling will escape and I couldn't find a low to cover it, but we do have some mids. One of them is FF4, this is neutral on block and also hits people on the floor. But side rollers will escape and wake up kicks will interrupt. An alternative is running too. This still gets beaten by wake up kicks and doesn't hit people on the floor. But it does give you more plus frames on block. If you get a hard read on wake up kicks, the best thing is probably to backdash and then whiff punish. If you get a hard read on the idlers, the best thing is to dash into stomp. Moving on to clutch 2. Here, the best follow up is D4. This is all options on the ground and standards have to crouch to block it. To cover that, we have back 2. This is a safe mid and it still beats at wake up kicks. Unfortunately, both of these lose to back roll, but to cover that, we do have some options. For a mid, we have FF4 again, but for a low, we have roll dash 3. This just about reaches them and also hits idlers. But wake up kicks beat it, side rolls will escape, and on block is minus 15. If you get a hard read on wake up kicks, backdash and punish, and if it's a hard read on idlers, dash into stomp. Now, because the command is just forward, we do have some perks. One of them is that we can do it from a dash. Now, what this does is it gives us more range, a bit more tracking, and it helps to disguise Blizzard Rush. The other thing is that we can do it after a roll dash. You do need to have a break between quarter circle forward and inputs in the command, but it does work. The only problem is that we don't have a safe mid to do from roll dash, so it's a bit hard to employ. In terms of setups, Dragunov has a variety of options. I'm going to start off with the ones which I think are average and work up to the ones which I think are best. Starting off, we have one jab. This is plus one on block. Now you'd expect both clutches to have the same hitbox, but that's not the case. Instead, Victor Clutch 2 seems to be weak to start at right. So in fact, Victor Clutch 1 is the stronger throw. Now being at plus one, people can beat you with jabs, but to cover that, we have D2. This crushes under them and it tracks sidesteppers. To stop people crouching, use DB2. This won't hit side set right, but it does hit side set left. It's also safe and you can hit confirm the second hit. Next setup, back for 2 1. This is also plus 1 on block, but unlike single jab, side set right also beats Victor Clutch 1. To cover that, it's D2 again, and to stop duckers, it's DB2. Next setup, D1. Just like the previous two, this is also plus one on block, but it forces them into crouch. Even then, side set right avoids both throws, so your covers are D2 and DB2 again. The only problem is that while standing four beats everything, but if you want to counter that, try DF4. This is 12 frames, so it will clash, but it also hits duckers and it's safe on block. Next setup, 4-4. This is plus three, but we recover crouching. Because of that, we need to do a dashing throw. Fortunately, both versions will catch side set right. To cover duckers, use wire standing four. This is uninterruptible and also catches side steppers. Sadly though, it won't reach back dashes, so really, you only want to use it by the wall. Speaking of the wall, this is where you can use FF3. In the open, they get pushed away, but at the wall, you're up close and you're at plus five. Using that, you can frame trap with back three. This is a safe homing move and it wall splats. The only problem is it's a high. Another set about the wall is F2. On block, this is minus eight, so it doesn't look too good. But 
What makes it dangerous is the extension. That knee is safe, wall spats and hits side steps. It's also mid so it leaves them open to the throw. Now if you are interested in Dragunov's war game, make sure you check out my video on it. In there I cover combos, splatting strategies and Oki. If you want to see that, there's a card in the corner and a link in the description. I will also put it on the end screen, so you might as well just keep watching till the end. Next setup, back 1 plus 2 and running 2. I've paired these together because they both give us plus 6. Now like the earlier setups, clutch 2 is still weak to size at right, but DB2 is uninterruptible so it makes it a bit more useful. Sadly, with back bumpers 2, they can still size it right, but with running 2, they can't, so it's slightly better. Next setup, DF1. This was sub plus 7. Unfortunately, clutch 2 is still weak to size it right, but here, like running 2, DB2 covers both directions. Next setup, 1-1. One, one. This one is good for three reasons. The first is that it puts up plus 7. So the frame advantage is good. Secondly, it can be used as a 10 frame punisher, so you can land it often. And thirdly, you have an extension. 3. Now this mid is a safe wall spatting mid, and if they sidestep, it will catch them. So it's actually pretty good near the wall. Next setup, D1 on hit. Here we're at plus 8, and they're forcing to crouch. Because of that, sidestepping cannot escape. Not even Victor Clutch 2. What's also good is that DB2 will catch both side steps, so it's a nice 50 50. Next setup, 4 1. This one I think is the best of the bunch, and there's two reasons. Firstly, it's a 12 frame punisher, so you will land it from time to time. Secondly, is the cover. Because you're up close and at plus 8, back 1 plus 2 is unsteppable, and since this move is also a plus frame mid, you can just carry on pressuring. Now sadly it is interruptible, but very few people will actually challenge you. Now throughout this video I have mentioned D2, and this move itself can be used as a setup. On hit it's 0, so low jabs can beat you, but if they don't do that, throws might be worth a go. On count it though, it's actually plus 13, so your best cover is while standing 3. This is a safe, uninterruptible mid, and it wall bounces. One more setup is get up 3. This one is often overlooked, but it does put you a plus 5. Sadly, Sice at right still escapes clutch 2, but while standing 4 will cover that. The next thing you should do is check out my video on Blizzard Rush. This completes Dragunov's throw mix up and it gives you way better OK. There's a card to that in the corner and a link in the description. If you've already seen that, then do give this video a like. It really helps out this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more Dragunov guides coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.